It's time for Bonehead Truckers, the top 10 or the bottom 10 Bonehead Truckers of the month of May 2022. This is a place we make fun of the dumb stuff we see out here on the road, so if you like this kind of garbage, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're here every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, or Sunday, Wednesday, or Friday, however you want to look at it. Uh, before we get into the top 10, guys, if you got clips you want to send to see on Bonehead Truckers, send them to contact at boneheadtruckers.com or join our Facebook group, Say No to Bonehead Truckers. Check it out down there below. There is a special link. It's a special link. Go hit it. All right. And, and by the way, this channel would not be possible without you guys and our partners, DAT, Blue Tiger, RTS, TRC, and the CIA, the ABCs and the 123s. I appreciate you guys for working with us and uh, welcome to the top 10. Let the Wookiee win every now and then. Now, you flatbedders, tell me how you get an empty flatbed to hit a freaking bridge. I can't know. And not only that, now he's going to try to back out of it doing even more damage. I mean, just might as well just give her up. Give her up. Listen, I only thought swift trucks hit bridges. Empty flatbeds? You really got to be an extra special bonehead. You just dumb. You're just absolutely dumb. Dumber in a box of rocks to sit here and do this. That's for Dagon. Recorded on. Get it up and record up your video real tight. Bravo, you tore it up. Watch up here. There's old Swifty Swift getting in on the action this week. Those old Swifty Swift going a little too fast for conditions. Look at there. Yep, got a little slippery. The road's a little slippery when they're wet and you probably lied or you're empty. And this is what happens. Slow it down there, driver. No the Swifty Swift. You can get you on bonehead truckers. Look right here. That's a, that's a good way to get on bonehead truckers because everyone is watching Swift. Everyone. Even the four wheelers are watching Swifty Swift. I, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. This video is actually sent through Say No to Bonehead Truckers Facebook group. All right. That's just the way it is. And uh, guess what? Now you're over there looking up. Can you believe this? This guy. Throw P. Throw crash and he just don't don't care unbelievable how that's why they don't like us nowhere for people like this wow can't believe it I just cannot believe he didn't care he saw me and he doesn't even care unbelievable Unbelievable. I believe it's going to be a uh, bullhead tracker. It's just unbelievable. Eh? Unbelievable, my friends. Bondage, maybe. Into bondage. Maybe bondage of a different kind, but bondage nonetheless. 
As we look at the book of Judges, there's quite a list of these guys. That we've talked about. Yeah, that ain't happening. And then this guy right here, I had to speed this up. This is long. This guy is at the Iowa 80 in Walcott, Iowa. Drops his trailer, okay, right there at the entrance, not doing a pre-trip, okay, because that's part of your pre-trip, right? Just getting out and checking your fifth wheel. But obviously, he's got his flip-flops on. Go figure. Go figure that this guy, you know, don't take his job seriously enough. You said, well, he's at a he's at a truck stop. Really? He looks like he was trying to leave the truck stop, trying to do a pre-trip. Okay. All right. That, that's perfect work attire, I guess. But like you said, some of you guys sit there and say, oh, you got a foot fetish. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about what someone else is wearing. Just worry about yourself. But that's not the reason why you're subscribed to this channel and you don't watch this channel. You watch this channel to sit there and look and laugh at the dumb stuff. Man, I'll tell you what, man. Let me tell you guys a story. All right, about the old time. Here comes another guy wearing flip-flops. Let me tell you about the old timers right there, out there, okay? They sit there and said, hey, you guys shouldn't be wearing sandals, should be wearing, you know, a uniform and all that kind of stuff. That's what the old time. listen, I've been in the industry for 20 years. I ain't into, I, listen, if you wear shorts, that's fine, as long as they're clean and they're professional looking. I, I don't really like the basketball shorts or the little shorty shorts or whatever. I don't wear the tank tops out there, you know, at a ship or a receiver. Now listen, if it's on your day off, if you're going to go take a shower or whatever, if you're at a truck, inside a truck stop, you know, you're just inside getting you something, alright, and you're taking a 10 hour break or a 34. I ain't against that, but when you're at work, wear something work worthy. Alright, work worthy. I'm just saying, every other profession, even if it's not a profession, every other occupation, let me just put it to you that way. Alright, this guy's fully clothed, look at him. Uh, every other occupation out there, they have. Yeah, you gotta wear closed toes shoes. Okay. Look, even that lady right there, she's even. Listen, I, you know, my wife, when she's out there with me on the road, she'd wear flip flops. She's not a truck driver, though. I'll say that. She just, she was just a rider. That lady, she got herself some shoes on. But these old so called fellers. These men, so cold, ain't got no shoes on. Mm. I'm telling you guys, listen. We're going to start up this revolution where we're going to get rid of flip-flops in this industry. And then you got old Western Express right here. Sitting there trying to drive, drive right here. And he thinks he's going to get up on out of this. Watch him. He's going to sit there and try to get uh, unstuck. Call a tow truck, Western Express. You know, call a tow truck. That's what you need to do. That's what you need to do there, Western Express. Huh? 
I can't know. With all these people out here in the trucking industry going on, all right, uh, I tell those you, those fellers watched my videos. I appreciate it. I do. Watch this KLLM. Oop. Uh oh. Hey, you're supposed to swing wide. You're supposed to swing wide and not do that there, KLLM. What do you think you're doing there, fam? What you think you're doing? Now, this old feller decides to go and film this video in landscape mode. Congratulations. Yeah. This old feller in this red Volvo looks like he got some trash right there. All right. And then over here, got some trash right there. All right. And then, uh, well, you know, drivers in the driver's seat, passengers in the passenger seat. And uh, I, it, I'm sure, I'm sure before they take out and leave, they're going to go and pick up their trash and take them to the trash can, to the trash barrel, to the trash dumpster, right? That That's going to happen. I foresee it happening because that's the right thing to do is pick up after yourself, right? That's the right thing to do. But, you know, these guys, most of the time, they don't. Most of the time, they don't. And this one ain't. <laughs> there you go. Just leave your trash. Just leave your trash right there. You know, leave it out there in the parking lot. I bet your truck is clean. But and number one goes to this guy right here. Oh. <laughs> whoa, whoa! Get on it, there, driver. Get up on it. I don't think he wants that trailer. <laughs> oh, shame on the mess. Look at there. <laughs> he ain't going to get very far, what do you think? Uh, this has to be number one. Oh, yeah. This is an epic fail or win, just depending on how you look at it. Go, oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> Oh, shame on the mess. I, I think, my thing is, I think he stole that truck. That's what I think. I think that's what it is. Guys, I appreciate you guys watching the top 10 bonehead truckers for the month of May of 2022. Hey, which one was your favorite? Huh? Tell us down there in the comments. We'll see you again for bonehead truckers for the month of June 2022. Thanks for watching.